you got to be careful what you tell your friends. All right. Everybody wants to tell their friends everything, all the information. This is the one person who I can tell all my business to. Yo, fuck that. I'm not telling these cats shit. And y'all shouldn't tell your homegirls or your homeboys shit either. Because the one thing you got to realize about a friend is they're a human being. They're still just a fucking person. And they're capable of lying to you. They're capable of being judgmental by you. They're capable of having opinions. Not all good, but negative too. Because at the end of the day, they're a human being. And they're capable of being weak. Right? So if you go back and you tell me your homegirl, just an example. All of the shit that's going on between you and your man. How you fucking him. How big his dick is, etc, etc. You don't think that she's having these visuals, these mental visuals of fucking your dude? So if anything ever happens between you and her, guess what? She knows. He's packing. She knows what he can do. She knows that, you know, whatever it is that he like. And she gonna give it to him just because she don't fuck with you. Right? So, and it's the same thing with the homeboys. Y'all always come back and brag to your homies and to the niggas, you know, hey, how she's giving head and the tricks that she do. And how good and how wet the pussy is. Come on, dog. You don't think that when we sitting around having these drinks tripping and shit... That a few of us is having this mental visualization of boning the fuck out of your chick right now. Of course we are. And then you would get mad if we tell you this. But again, you putting your chick out there. You chicks is putting your mans out there. So if that shit go down, no one's to blame but you. But this is all because of a friend. Fuck a friend. That's 100. Fuck friends. We don't need them. We choose to have them. But that don't mean that you have to choose to give them your information. How many of you have had your character destroyed, your secrets put out, lies told on you because of a so-called friend? Again, you share all of this information about what you do, how you do it, how often you do it. And then, again, they're a human being. You guys going to have your differences. You get mad, they get mad. Guess what? All of your fucking business is out there. But then you want to invest in a friend? I'm not investing in shit but myself and God to be 100. The only person to know all of my deepest intimacies and, my intimacies and secrets and, and everything that's crazy is God. Because that's the person I have to answer to. A friend? Yo, we just going to go kick it. Fuck all the other shit. I'm not telling you about my chick and how she do it. Or you shouldn't tell your homegirl about your man and how he do it. That's insane to me. Right? Stop, tell, stop telling your friends about your financials. So what? They can get mad and go around telling people how you had to borrow money and how you really broke? Shit, I'm going to act rich in front of all y'all niggas until, I, until y'all just can't see it no more. I'm going to act like I got it. If I got it, I got it. You wouldn't know if I'm broke or not. I'm not telling you niggas. It's none of your business. Right? It's not that I don't fuck with you cats. It's not that I'm not cool with everybody. But this shit is none of your business. At the end of the day, you're a human being. You put your pants on and your shirt on like I do. I don't owe you shit just because we grew up together. I don't owe you shit just because you my homeboy. I don't have to tell you nothing. At the end of the day, you my homeboy and that's all you are. You my homeboy. Right? Same thing with you girls out there, man. With you women out there. You know, y'all got that one friend that every time you get into it with your mans, you go tell her all of everything that's going on. But guess what? This is the same woman that's slick crushing on your dude. So she gonna smile in your face and tell you what she wants you to hear. So that way, it acts like she's supporting you. But the reality is, if you and this man don't work, she's kind of happy. Because she's like, don't fuck with you anyways because some shit you did back in 96, so she say. So that's just her excuse of fucking your man when y'all get into it because of some shit you did back in 96. That's some shit you don't even remember. Some shit I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? But that's how so-called friends are. We invest into these so-called friends so much, but these are the very people who kill us. These are the very people who are jealous of us, who tell our secrets and tell our stories. And then that friend has a friend that they can tell that one thing to besides you. And they're going to tell all of your shit to that one person. And then that one person is going to go tell some more of your shit and they shit to somebody else. And then you're going to have one person with some common sense to sit back and say, I ain't telling y'all motherfucker shit because all y'all run around telling each other's business but y'all so-called friends. Right? I mean, it, it is. It's common sense. Sex and, 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 you know, intimacy is more than a physical level. Let's, let's take it to this. Let's take it back to that. So when we brag on each other's sexuality and the things that we do, even though we physically are not putting that friend in the bedroom with our spouse, we are mentally fucking our friend's spouses because they give us all the information about it. Right? So when you tell your homegirl about the toys and the things and what you guys are going to do and how it's going to go down, you have mentally brought her into the situation so she is mentally fucking your man. Y'all might as well have a threesome if you ask me. 
You're telling her all the business in the bedroom. Why don't everybody get together, huddle up, and just fuck then? Stop giving all your information to these so-called friends. Right? Stop telling friends the plans that you're going to do. Because guess what? If you haven't noticed this yet, right? Like, I tell one of my niggas, AG, I'm trying to get some shit done. Can you take me over here right quick? Oh, bro, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do that. But if I say, AG, let's go to the titty bar. Oh, let's go. But this is my friend, though. So in my mind, me and the homies kicking in at the titty bar. But when I really needed you for some real shit, you turned into which you are. A fucking human being that's capable of being, you know, the way that you are. Having your moments. And just being a basic ass person. Basically, stop investing in these so-called friends. Friends ain't shit. Fuck a friend. And I hate to put that that way, but that's the reality to it. Fuck a friend. 100.